So hopefully that exercise went well for you. I hope you kind of like this process of learning something, testing it real quick to make sure you're all ready to go. Now, what we're gonna cover in this lecture is if statements and also comments. So first to talk about if statements, again, if statements allow us to kind of choose between one thing or the other. Uh, to do them in Python, it's pretty simple. We just do if space and then give some sort of Boolean here or some sort of comparison. So for example, if we wanna say, hey, if this person's age is greater than 18, that means they can go on the ride or something like that. It's kind of a little silly example here, but we can say, you know, if age, this variable up here is greater than 18, then you put a colon here to say, okay, this is the thing that I'm testing. And if you'll hit enter on this, I don't know if all text editors do this, Adam does. If it doesn't, uh, you can always fix it. But um, basically to specify what should go inside the if statement, there's no like, curly brackets or anything to specify what goes inside of there. Instead, you use indentation to say, okay, this is what's in the if statement. And uh, you can decide how you wanna do it. Some people just do it by spaces. Uh, some people do it by like a tab. Um, but uh, most common uh, you know, code editors will, if you hit enter here, just automatically get you to that indented space. And if you're not there, go ahead, do the tab. Or if you'd like to do the four spaces here, whatever it is, uh, to get to this point. But then anything that's indented over here is inside the if statement. So I can print something like, um, let's see, you are older than 18. Okay, I'll go ahead and save this. And if we run this, since the person was 35 years old, we can see it says you're older than 18. But if I change this to some, now the age is like 12. So Matt's only 12 now. If I go ahead and run this, you can see it does not print you are older than 18. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. This is kind of cramping our style here. So let's hit save, run more time. You can see it doesn't print anything now. Um, so this is the way that you can kind of test that. And you can have multiple things inside of your if statement, multiple lines of code, like I can print, um, I don't know, something like this is another line. Right, so uh, if we change the age back over to 18, something like 22, when we run this, you can see it prints both of those. Now with an if statement, you can have an else if you want to, and to do the else, don't have the else be indated, indate, indented, you have to go back all the way to the left here and say else, and then do another colon, then hit enter, and then have whatever you want to be inside your else uh, tabbed over or spaced over like this. So maybe we can print uh, something like you are younger than 18, okay? So now that we have this, let's change the age back to like 12. What should happen is it should print whatever is inside of the else. So I can go ahead and run this. You can see you are younger than 18, okay? So this is the basics of an if statement. I will cover also if you want to create a Boolean. Um, let's just make a Boolean that says like today is cold something we can say true or false to. Uh, if you wanna say, make your Boolean true, you can do it like that, or you can say false. Uh, those are the only two options with a Boolean in Python. Pretty straightforward. So you can take, for example, today is cold if you want to replace it here rather than doing some sort of comparison. And if we run this, we set this equal to false, so it should say you're younger than 18. And, oh, we are not, oh, I forgot, capital F, capital T on those, okay? Go ahead and run that. Now it's working. So it's either false like that or capital true. Okay, thank goodness we can check our code here and make sure that everything's working. Uh, one more thing to talk about, if, if you wanna check stuff like strings, uh, you can do that. For example, if we wanna check uh, the name here, we could say if name is equal to, and you have to do two equal sign, that's probably common in most programming languages, but if you wanna check and see if Matt's equal to you know, something like Matt, uh, you gotta make sure you have the capitalization all correct, but if go ahead and run this. You can see it ram the stuff that was inside of this, this true um, sort of block right here. And um, you can do other comparisons, right? Like it's the pretty standard stuff of saying, you know, uh, if you want like age is greater than or equal to 14, uh, you can do the double equals to say, you know, if it's exactly equal to this, or if you do the exclamation point, an equal sign to say, as long as it's not equal to 14, okay? That is a valid code inside of Python. So the last thing that I wanna teach you in this exercise to go along with the if 
statements is uh, comments, okay? So if you wanna make a comment, which is just code that isn't executed, it's kind of a way to leave a note for yourself, uh, is you just do the pound sign here, or the hashtag, as maybe some would say it now, but you just do pound and then you can type whatever it is that you want uh, anywhere, just like this. Now, if you want to have a multi-line comment, this is kind of an interesting thing in Python. Um, what you do is you do three uh, quotation marks. So I'm gonna do three here, type some stuff, and then you do three at the end. And this can this is now like a multi-line thing. Like I can keep typing. You can see, because Adam, uh, a nice thing about Adam.io is it uh, will color code stuff for you to say, you know, stuff in green uh, is, or the stuff in gray is a comment, but you'll notice strings are usually green, and that's actually a multi-line comment in Python. It's not technically a comment. Technically, it's a string. So we could actually, like, take this, for example, uh, this long comment that we made here, this multi-line thing, and set it equal to a variable like this, and this is actually a string. But it's just kind of common convention to say, if you want a multi-line comment, use the triple quotes to make a multi-line string, which essentially you could use as a comment. But if you just have a single line thing, it's just clean to do uh, the pound or hash sign here and just type whatever it is that you want. So there you have it. Uh, and just to make sure this works and you can see that this is valid code, we'll go ahead and run this. Totally fine. Um, yeah, you just learned about if statements, a little bit about else and comparing things. You also learned about comments. Again, let's go ahead and test this in an exercise. After that, keep trucking.